Welcome our dear farmers. I'm from ATS Agrochemicals and I'll talk briefly on some of our products that we have, especially for wheat control in your maize, soya beans and your sunflower. So I'll start with the soya beans because I know uh, this is January and most of you have planted your beautiful crops, the crops are growing and maybe the weeds are also growing together with your crops. So the first product I'm going to talk about is a product called Cardi. So Cardi is a post-emergence selective herbicide and it will only control the broadleaf weeds in your soybeans crop. Actually, you can use this in your soybeans. You can also use this in your groundnut crop. The application rate for this product is one liter a hectare. And like I said, it will control the broadleaf weeds. So the advantage of this is that you can spray it even when your soybeans is very young. So before your soybeans get to what we call the third triforiate, you can safely apply this product to control the notorious broadleaf weeds. The second product I'm going to talk about is a product called Hayley. Hayley is again a, a grass herbicide. So this one will control grasses in your soya beans. You can actually use this product on your sunflower field. You can also use this where you planted your groundnuts. But remember, it will only control the grasses. It will not control the broadleaf weeds. So if you've got uh, both grasses and broadleaf weeds growing at the same time, you've got two options. You can get these two products and mix them and then spray them or got a product called Sevula. So you've got these two products in one uh, one product already mixed. So 1.5 liters of this product spray per hectare and it will control both broadleaf weeds and your grasses. So Sevula is a product that we introduced recently and it's a growing product. We are very, very confident as a company uh, because this product has actually been given very, very, very good results. So please, when you visit any of our outlets, these are the products that you have for soya beans. On top of that, there's a which is very popular. This product is called Rebo. Rebo, again, is a post-emergence broadleaf wheat, so it will control the broadleaf wheat. Again, very popular product, and if you've got nutsage, uh, the members call it Indao. So if you've got that, uh, that weed in your field, this is a chemical that you need to use. So this sachet should be mixed with 200 liters of water, and that 200 liters of water should cover one hectare. Then quickly, I'll uh, actually talk about the maize herbicides. So we're still talking about the post-emergence, but now we're moving to the maize. So we have a product called Impi. This product, we've been selling it for some time now, and again, it's a growing product. We're very, very proud and very confident. We have a lot of confidence in this product. You spray this 1.5 liters a hectare to control both the broadleaf weeds and the grasses in your maize. So you come to visit us, please, if you've got problems with uh, weeds in your field, please look for this product called Impi. Another product that we have is a product called Fortless. Fortless, in certain areas, they actually call it Mulungwe. They've nicknamed it Mulungwe because this is a product that you need if you've got Mulungwe in your field. So when such it should cover one hectare, but just the, for those who are growing seed, just uh, watch out that you cannot use this on a maize seed crop. We do not encourage you using this product. But if you're going commercial maize and you've got Mulungwe problem and any other grasses, this is the product that you need to, to use. So like I said, a sachet will cover one hectare if you mix it with 200 liters of water. So for those who are growing sunflower, I mean, on our Facebook page, we've been receiving a lot of comments, a lot of questions on what they can be used to control weeds in a sunflower field. So you must understand that the sunflower crop is a very sensitive crop uh, when it comes to herbicides. So there are very, very few herbicides that you can use to control weeds uh, if you're growing sunflower. So what do we advise? What do we advise is that before you plant your sunflower, you need to use a product called piranha. I'm assuming that in that field you've got weeds which have germinated. You can use piranha, which is your glyphosate, two to three liters a hectare, depending on the size of the weeds. You use this to clear all the weeds before you plant. So once you spray this, you kill all the weeds, you can come in and plant sunflower. So the only pre-emergence herbicide that you can actually use immediately after planting your sunflower is a product called uh, Bucania. So Bucania will only control broadleaf weeds pre-emergence. So after the sunflower has germinated and it's growing, uh, you don't have so many options there. The only thing that we encourage farmers to do is to use a product called Paraquat, but with caution. And I must repeat, you can use this product, but with caution. What do I mean? So you have to allow your sunflower to come up to maybe waist high, and then you can get this product, mix it with water. Uh, so you're talking about two liters in 200 liters of water. And then you put it on an upside sprayer with a shield. And then you just target the weeds uh, underneath. So if you spray this product on top of the crop, you may end up damaging your crop. But if the crop is this high, 
paraquat can actually be used as a directed spray. So we call it a directed spray because you're actually just directing your spray onto the weeds and trying by all means not to touch your crop. So thank you very much. And um, I encourage you all to visit any of our outlets in the different uh, districts and you find these products and you find very competent people who will be able to actually explain uh, some of the things that I was actually explaining. Thank you so much.